Today, me and my friend will present about our topic Constraints in the Free Trade Agreement FTA, the Trans-Pacific Partnership TPP Agriculture Foreign Direct Investment FDI and others concerned. Thank you to our lecturer, Professor Dr. Muhammad Firdaus, SPMSE, for your time to correct our topic. Uh, my name is Doni, I come from Indonesia, and my friend Dennis Onimbo from Nigeria, uh, agricultural economist, Bobo Agricultural University. Okay, Mr. Dennis will present about the uh, topic. Thank you, Mr. Now, as an introduction, uh, what is a free trade agreement? A free trade agreement is an agreement between countries to uh, have a free, uh, non-tariff uh, barriers and uh, just uh, removing any restriction to trade, which can be non-tariff and the tariff barriers. Now, the non-tariff barrier can be in form of quotas, while the tariff barrier can be in form of tax. Now, this agreement can be between two countries. We call that a bilateral agreement. Why between multi, uh, uh, so many countries, we call that multilateral agreement. As we can see in the TPP, which is the Trans-Pacific Trade Agreement, this involves 11 countries, including the United States, Japan, Australia, Peru, Malaysia, and others. Now, uh, something interesting is that other countries like uh, Indonesia, has big interest in the TPP. So we can see that the free trade agreement has a lot of benefits, and this can be shown in the graph. In the left-hand side, we have the price that is on the vertical axis, while on the horizontal axis, we have the quantity. Now, what is interesting is in the price. The price of the world, we see that it is low. That is the point where we don't have any restriction to trade. But the price with tariff is where they have restriction to trade. Now, we see that without the restriction, the consumer surplus is more. That is, they can pay less for goods and services. While there is chances for specialization and comparative advantage is allowed. Um, then there may be higher foreign investment, foreign direct investment with more market for producers. So, where the concern of our work today is to see what are the impact. Okay. Now, uh, apart from the benefits we find on the free trade agreement, there are problems uh, also associated with it. Maybe constraints. On agriculture, we found out that production may become grossly unregulated, and maybe a chemical process as producers would like to fast track their production to meet the numerous demand. Why local smallholder agricultural industries may lose their investment or shut down because they may not be able to compete with foreign investors. Now on investment, we, we agree that foreign direct investment will increase with the free trade agreement, but this may pose little benefit for government revenue as uh, taxes are lost, as we have seen in the graph before. Then on social and the social costs with uh, issues like land grabbing uh, for large investment. You can find uh, issues like land grabbing uh, for large investment. You can find uh, establishments in communities. Uh, you can also, we also have the problem of the threat to public policy, which is a uh, raised in the ISDS, that is the Investor State Dispute Settlement uh, Agreement, which gives the investor the right to sue the federal government. So this may make the government to uh, go back on its policies. And there are chances of increased uh, greenhouse emission and uh, land use. Now, um, to explain our point, we had some instances like uh, reported by the OECD uh, study that uh, ISDS arbitrators and advocates are paid by hour. And when you check the cost on the government, 
you notice that you can spend up to 30 million US dollars on a case in ISDS. This is a waste for the public fund. Now, uh, that instance can be seen in the moment over increase in minimum wage. Why uh, we conclude by saying it is important that these concerns and issues be addressed and the public actively involved and enlightened for better FTA. These issues and concerns must be addressed and the public must be involved and enlightened. Uh, this is uh, our presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Terima kasih, Imela. Change of.